This is a handy little code example. What this will do is it will go through a directory and it will tell you if a file is already there or it will do search on file. So in this first bit of segment uh, right here, it will look for anything that's star.txt. So let's get, I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, we need to import the OS library. So we need things like list directory. And then we need to import the fn match, which is file name match. Okay, so what we're going to do down here is, is we're going to run this. It's going to look for file in os.lister, and it's going to look for anything with a dot in it, in the name. And then it's going to match the file, and anything that's like star.txt, you can also use question mark. So star.txt or question mark.txt, anything you're looking for. If there's a match, it'll print the file name. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's run it and see that it really works. Yep, so here's four text files. If we go up through here and look in my directory, there are four text files. Last time I checked, here's one, and the others are, there's two, and three, and four. So there are the four files. And sure enough, it finds all four files. Okay, so that's interesting, but What's a really important application of this? Okay, well, let's say you're going to open a file for read. You don't want the program to blow up if the file's not there. You want to exit nicely. It looks bad when stuff blows up. Okay, so here's a little example of how to check to see if a file is going to be there before you open it for read. And using the same, same programming logic, we're going to look for this in list directory, anything with a dot in it and we're going to try to match on a file name, on a specific file name. In this case, it's called print file names input.txt. And if that is found, I'm going to set a flag to true. So I did find the file. So down here, I check to see if found, that means if found equals true, I'm going to print file exists, and then I'm going to open my file for read and all that stuff that I would normally do. Otherwise, I'm going to print a message, say the file doesn't exist and I should exit nicely instead of just blowing up. So over here, when we ran it, we came up with a message, file exists. So we should go over and check and make sure it actually does exist. And there it is right there. So it does work. So this is a very nice little piece of code to, uh, to make your Python programs work a little nicer. Okay, well that was it. Hope you find it useful and interesting in your Python programming.